So I'm here at the Sherway Gardens Mall. Uh, they just opened up the new Tesla Urban Supercharger. This is the first one I see in Toronto. And the difference between the Urban Supercharger and the normal Supercharger is first of all the looks, and second of all how the uh, configuration of the electricity works. Now, as you can see, the charger gets 72 kilowatts um, right there, and. On the normal supercharger right now, it would probably be around 100. But the way that this works is on the big superchargers, the ones that you see that have like, like, look like a gas station kind of pump, those uh, can get up to, I think, 120 kilowatts, but they're shared. So if they say 2A and 2B will share the same uh, line. And it, uh, some people think that it's the one next to the one that you're at. Uh, that depends on the location. In the States, a lot of them, 2A would be next to 2B, whereas in Canada, a lot of them, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, all A's, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, all B's. So if you're a new Tesla owner or you're thinking about getting a Tesla, uh, always keep that in mind that um, when you're on the big superchargers, they share the electricity. So 2A and 2B will be sharing it. If you um, pull up and there's a couple of cars it's actually you have to look at which ones they're parked in and be strategic in terms of getting a faster charge because if you go to let's say um, let's say all of these chargers here are empty and <clears throat> let's just pretend I'm in 2A if you came to 2B um, on the normal superchargers not the urban ones you'd slow both of us down um, Whereas here with the urban superchargers, supposedly each one gets up to 75 kilowatts and that's why it's only going up to 72 here, but each stall gets 72. Now they're meant for urban cities like, you know, Toronto and New York, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it'll actually help with charging faster if there's a lot of cars. If there's not a lot of cars, the other superchargers are actually better because they can charge faster. But the more cars there are charging, these ones are actually better because they each get their own uh, supply of 75 kilowatts. And I've counted all the ones here and there's 20. So that's pretty, uh, that's the biggest one that I've seen in Toronto so, thus far. But um, that's, that's pretty much it. And if you can see here now that we're inside and um, you can, there's less uh, road noise. On the map, it actually shows up as really small. I thought it wasn't on the map um, originally, um, but I did know online that it is functioning and people are uh, charging at it. And a great way to know what chargers around you that are going to open soon uh, is to go to the Tesla Motors subreddit or the Tesla Motors Club website. And there's also actually a, a website, I think supercharge.info, that you can see where they're getting permits and stuff around your location. And I'll put that in the description of this video. But um, it's a great way to know which chargers are actually open before they sh hit the map, because it usually takes about a day or two to show up on the map, but uh, it, they're actually functioning already. Um, but be careful though to actually make sure that people have actually charged there because once I went to the one at the, um, the uh, I forgot the mall's name, but it wasn't functioning and I assumed it was functioning because people said it was, um, they didn't say it was ready, but they, they said that they, the chargers are there. So for some reason in my head, I assumed that it was working and it wasn't. So now we're just charging here and then we'll go home and thanks for watching hopefully this video was somewhat educational if you have questions of um i didn't explain something very well just uh, ask it in the comments and i'll try to reply and if you are in the in the market for a model s or model x please use my uh referral link it'll be in the bottom of the description thank you